Man, I ask around, but they ain't heard of ya. All I know is I do this shit, so don't worry about what I'm earning, bruh. Yeah, that real shit, them hoes know they turn it up. Fuck all of them burgers, I was great. Follow y'all till they learn to fuck, I'm hot. Gunna Gang, you already know it's your boy 314 Gunna coming at you again with another review. Um, today we got the XD45. What I like about this gun is I wanted something really in 45 double stack, um, but something that wasn't too expensive. Uh, I've heard some people say that you know XD can be more expensive than a Glock, which I guess can be true in some circumstances, but if you do your research and you look around. You know, you can find some XDs pretty cheap out here these days. And they're still a quality product. Um, so, a few things about the gun. If y'all know me and y'all know my reviews, I'm not re really a big fan of um, all the specs and stuff like that. If you want to know specs, go look them up. I'm just not really big on it. Because in our community, and when I say our community, I mean the black community. You know, we just don't really care about that type of stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, is it a, a little gun? Is it a big gun? Is it a medium sized gun? That's that's how many times do it shoot? You know what I'm saying? That's the type of stuff we care about to be honest with you and uh, we are in an urban environment so The twist of a barrel the barrel twist and all that stuff We don't care about that guys uh, Not that we shouldn't uh, But you know, that's just the reality of the situation. Most of us don't care about that type of stuff if it's a nice gun, it's a nice gun. If we like it, we like it. You know, it's just how we are. Um, but yeah, with this one, uh, the, the main reason why I got it was because, like I said, I wanted a double stack uh, 45. And I got this one for a nice price. If anybody know me, I always try and get my firearms for the most reasonable price possible. Um, no, I'm not paying your full price. I'm not paying your thousand dollars. I can go find one. It's a gun, you know what I mean? Sometimes, yeah, I want to have a new gun. But most of the time, a gun is a gun. And if it shoots, it's going to get the job done. New use, you can get a lot of used guns out here in new condition, to be honest. A lot of times, somebody will buy a gun, they sit it, they desk it, they bedside it, put it on their bedside, you know. Might take it to the range a couple times, put a, hundred, a couple hundred rounds down it, and... Sit it on their bedside again. Something comes up, they got to get rid of it. The average person, especially in a city, in a major metropolitan city, is not putting thousands of rounds through their through they firearm. Uh, the average person only putting a couple hundred rounds through it, 500 rounds through it. You know, So you can get a lot of used firearms, used guns out here that are really not that used um, and still new and still in a break-in period, to be honest. Uh, a person might say that they're having problems with this and that. I've had people bring me guns t saying that they've had problems with it. It's a Glock, you know. Uh, it, it's a it's a, a CZ, you know what I mean? And I'm like, hmm, well, how many how many rounds you done fire through it? I mean, well, you know, I only got a box. I didn't even get a whole box through it, and it started jamming up on me, or it started doing this. And I'm like, you know, it, it's a gun. You got you to gotta break that in. You're going to have to break it in. It's going to be stiff at first. It's going to be... You know, you got you got to manage it, um, and I've taken them. You know, gotten them for cheap and put put hundreds of rounds through them, and and they work perfectly. And you know, I feel bad for the people, but you know, people don't know, and some people they don't want to know if if it ain't working right now, they don't want it. To be perfectly honest, um, so you know, I, I understand that too. You know, if you don't if you don't expect to go to the range for hours and hours on end and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars on guns and ammo. You know, uh, shooting these guns, you're going to want something that's just going to work when you need it to work. Um, which, like I said, I don't recommend that for anybody. But like I said, uh, with this gun, reasonable price and double stack 45. I was looking at, uh, what else, the Glock 21. I was looking at the Smith & Wesson M&P 45. And, um, of course, I was, I was actually looking for a fat boy when I got this. Uh, couldn't find a fat boy anywhere. I actually found it a couple places, but they were ridiculously priced. Um, at one point, I was getting them for like 
three hundred and something dollars, four hundred dollars, and now they're they're all the way up there. So I'm good on a fat boy until I come across one uh, for a decent price. Then I'll grab me a fat boy. Uh, but this was actually the next best choice, to be honest. Um, the Glock 21, yeah, I could have got a Glock 21, but I got Glocks. It didn't have a Springfield when I grabbed this. So I actually do like the Springfield. I like the brand. Um, and like I said, it was a great price. The M&P was just a little too big. I didn't really like the way it felt. I have had the, the 40 of the M uh, m and um, and I, I like it, but it, I, I wasn't in love with it at all. So I decided to go with this, and I think it was a great choice. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not too big, not too small, uh, and it's got everything that you want in a double stack 45. Two 13 round magazines. Uh, as you see, the one is right here, and then you got another one right here that it comes with. Um, this is going to be your basic package. This right here is extra. Uh, I did put that in myself. That is the extended mag uh, that you can get for it. I do suggest it. I do make sure. I do say that you make sure that it works um, before you just go toting it around, carrying it around like you got the stick, and you ain't gonna have a stick that work, you know. So I do suggest that you test it, but you get you one that works and it'll be gravy every time. Uh, this is just my little personal setup. I keep a knife with all my uh, guns, you know. Um, I don't know. I just like to keep a little kit. Yeah, so this is going to be the gun. Everything's safety checked. Empty. As y'all can see. So this is actually going to be the gun. Like I said, the reason why I got the gun is because I wanted to double stack 45. It's four inches, so it's actually kind of perfect. Uh, it fits kind of like a Glock uh, 19. Um, so it's middle. It's not too long. It's not too short. Um, not too heavy, actually. I, I, I don't mind the little weight of it that it does have on it. Uh, like I said, it's extremely similar to a Glock. Um, so if you are looking for something like that and you don't necessarily want to pay the price of a Glock because I know for a fact that you can get these cheaper than a Glock uh, 21, then I would suggest that you go with this, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's a great, great gun for a great deal. Some people actually think it's a little bit better than a Glock uh, with the ergonomics and everything on it. Uh, you got the front and rear serrations, which on a Glock, of course, you only have the rear on most of your standard Glocks. Uh, it's got the loaded chamber indica indicator up here. Sticks up whenever you uh, have a round in. That will stick up for you and show you that you have a live round in there. It's got the, uh, what we like to call the lemon squeeze, or, uh, which is actually just a um, grip safety that won't allow you to pull this trigger all the way back unless this, this is engaged and then you can pull. So it's a lot of different features on this gun that you don't have on a Glock. Just something a little bit different. It's gonna hold 13 for you. But yeah, this is a Pro Mag. Um, it is a Pro Mag and uh, I believe it holds, I wanna say 20. Um, it's, it's not much to really say about that. I mean, anytime you can get your 20 45s, you're not gonna lose. Um, you're setting yourself up for a positive outcome in a situation where you might need uh, more than one magazine. A lot of people talk about, uh, you only need this many shots, you only need that many shots. But if you've been in situations like me, if you've been in situations like uh, my friends, um, then you know. This that many shots sometimes just won't do it. You got multiple assailants approaching you and they all have firearms. What are you going to do with 12? What are you going to do with 15 uh, rounds? You know, all these guys have multiple extended magazines and, you know, like I said, but most of the time it will work for you just depending on a self-defense type of situation, but you never know what type of situation is going to pop up, what type of situation is going to rise, and something like this can actually save your life uh, where you can at least get out of harm's way, get a few off, get out of harm's way, and then actually get to the business of taking care of what you need to take care of. Um, 
But yeah, a lot of people, you know, they talk about extended magazines. Ah, you don't need that, this and that. You know, like I tell tell people all the time, you don't know anybody's situation, you and you don't know your situation. To be perfectly honest with you, because if you come, if you think that you're gonna plan for the situation, yeah, you're absolutely wrong, my friend. The situation plans for you, and you just react. You understand? That's the way it goes. So, let's see what else it comes with. Uh, this also comes with. I'm just gonna flip flip the case around here. Other side of the case uh, comes with double magazine holder. Uh, magazine loader as well as uh, outside always been built uh, holster which I've never used any of this stuff to be honest I got my outside always been uh, actually Blackhawk for this um, uh, I got my outside the white waistband Blackhawk so that's what I usually rock it in outside the waistband inside the waistband uh, I got an Uncle Mike's um, inside the way it's been concealed and like I said with it being a 4 inch it's not too bad I'm usually used to carrying uh, pocket pistols um, I'll carry uh, either a Glock 26 or a Glock 27 with a 33 barrel uh, shooting 357C um, that's my personal choice uh, but I, I do have to uh, use the pinky extenders when I when I rock those most of the time I'm not going to lie um, just because my hands are a bit bigger. If you got smaller hands, then it probably is not going to be a problem for you. Uh, but my hands are a bit bigger. So, like I said, when I, when I, when I rock this, I actually like it because I can get that full grip on it. This is, I believe this is the service model. Um, and you can actually feel that when you go to pull it off your waist. You get that good full grip and just a nice, uh, you can, you can get a nice full grip purchase on the gun uh, with this with this full grip right here anything smaller if you got bigger hands like me it's gonna be kind of yeah you know kind of iffy um, so I do like that now uh, like I said I love my Glocks I'm a Glock guy um, but when it comes down to it uh, this gun has changed uh, a lot of my buddies around I actually when I got this gun none of my guys had XDs and uh, or Springfield for that matter. And since then, you know, we, we kind of the XD crew. Uh, one of my guys got the nine version, just like this, except it's a nine millimeter. Another one has the uh, 45, but it is the, uh, what is it, 45 tactical. So he got the long barrel with the short, uh, short grip. And that's so nasty, what I'm trying to tell you. I'm gonna do a review on that one for y'all too. Um, and actually, I'll get I'll get all of them up here, and I'll show you, show y'all all of them together and the little differences or whatever. Uh, I love this gun. Um, it's got the safety, it's got the trigger safety, but that's a backup to the uh, grip safety for real, because uh, that won't pull if you don't got the grip safety uh, engaged. On this one, I got the green True Glow uh, laser. It's real nice, uh, real night and day. Uh, type of laser you can see it good in the daytime as well that's that's what that green is is really used for the red work it works too but that green it really shows you uh what you what you point at in the daytime i'm probably gonna switch that out and put some kind of light on this one since i don't really carry it like that like i tell you all the time i'm in i'm in a state where i can carry and i'm in a state to where it's the weather is different all year round so I could rock a hoodie, a coat, or you know, in the summertime, shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, but in the wintertime, hoodie coat action, this is perfect. I can rock it outside the waistband or inside the waistband, and uh, with a little hoodie or a little jacket over it. And you know, you feel like the law. I'm not gonna lie, you feel like the law when you're rocking this thing. That big four five on your hip, can't nobody tell you nothing. Uh, didn't want to get too deep into it. Um, just wanted to show y'all a little bit let you know you know the pros and cons of it i really don't have any cons uh like i said it's, it's reliable i had no problems with this gun it feeds everything even light loads on these and uh and they, they still rock all right so that's gonna do it for this one uh the springfield xd 45 4 inch service model um real something real nasty something real real nasty 
that uh, I think y'all might like. Uh, Double Stack 13, and you can always get that stick. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're looking for something, this might be the one for you. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, become part of that gunner. Gang, 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 gang. You already know what to do. 314 Gunner, out. <laughs>